Just look at the video, Mother. Greatest moments of the San Diego chicken. Why are you torturing me like this? If I ever saw a giant chicken in a red vest doing that, I'd run screaming like a mad woman till somebody put it six feet under. It's not real, Mother. It's just a guy in a suit. That's why it's funny. It's not funny to me. It's pathetic. The San Diego chicken is the father of us all. I owe my career to him. Your career? You used to be a TV star. That was something special. That other kid they got to play Bagley went on for six seasons. You could have gone on to be somebody. Nobody ever watched Teen Spirit High. You let yourself get screwed. Now look where we are. You could have given your mother a better life. You let yourself get screwed, screwed, screwed. tell you something, Mother. TV's loss is Fresno's gain. It's taken 14 years of training, dedication, and talent to perfect my craft. I am an actor, Mother, an entertainer. I am the Flying Wahoo, the best mascot the Fresno Flyers have ever had. Here, I am a superstar. And here, they are. Phil Linty, a one-time child TV star turned mascot who lives with his mother. Not bad considering the path most child stars take. Different strokes, jail, E, true Hollywood story. Hmm. But some former child stars made it through the merciless Hollywood system unscathed and have contributed greatly to show business as adults, like Ron Howard and... like Ron Howard. Others are leading normal, successful careers outside Hollywood and are giving back to their communities, like... Well, like our flying wahoo Phil Linty, some take a little detour on the Hollywood off-ramp. Welcome. Cellar-dwelling Fresno Flyers didn't soar as high as their wahoo tonight. Who is that guy? Who is that guy? <laughs> oh, what's my girl think about that? Huh? Point her out to me and I'll ask her. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Hey, Phil, I heard Davis sold the flyers to the folks over at Smiley Time. No, he would never do that without consulting me. Well, I heard it from a reliable source. What source? I'm the source. If anything's going to happen with the Fresno Flyers, I'm going to hear about it first. Did you just flick a peanut at me? No, man. Why would I waste a peanut? You OK for drinks? How would you like to have dinner with me tonight? I don't date the customers, Mr. Linty. I tell you that every night. Yeah, but when I asked you to the movies a year ago, you went. Yeah, but we never got in, remember? We tried to pay with a check. <laughs> they don't take checks. Then you insisted they let us in for free because you're a celebrity. We, uh, we had coffee. I took you for coffee. We had a nice coffee and day. All you talked about were your years on Teen Spirit High and how you got burned when Smiley Time took over the show and replaced you with some other kid. I cherished that night. Look, I, I know I'm not the most eligible bachelor at Fresno, but if you could give a guy a break. Why don't you save tonight's proposal for some other girl? Teen Spirit High, the next generation. Well, I didn't like that part. Turn it off. Look, that kid they replaced you with is all grown up, and now he's the principal. 
principal Bagby. We we turn it off, please. Oh, I just think that could have been you. Well, it's not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if it was, we wouldn't be in this place. You could have had a nice girlfriend, you know, as Principal Bagby. You probably would have been married by now. I have a girl, Mother. That waitress you torment down at the bar? Her name is Gina. And we had a pretty good time last night. A pretty good time? <laughs> you like peanuts flicked in your face? You like being humiliated in front of the entire bar. Joanna saw the whole thing. That girl is way out of your league. Mother. Mm, that girl. Now, she needs something she can hang on to, you know, somebody she can really love. OK, Mother. I think I feel a train coming on. Oh, God. Woo -woo. No. Shh. Not the choo-choo, no, please. Shh. Don't touch the radio, no. No, oh, come on, please. No, 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 why are you tormenting me like this? You know I can't handle it. Oh, God, why are you torture me? Woo, woo! Just the wow, who I wanted to speak to. You know, I can't see anyone before a game, Mr. Davis. It ruins my concentration. Well, I know, I know. I just, uh, I, uh, I wanted to speak to you in private. Uh, Phil, you've been with the Flyers a long time now. Yeah, the best 14 years of my life. And I was just wondering if you have ever thought about, uh, well, uh, other opportunities. Yeah, I have. Uh, you're a young guy. Uh, aren't there things you've dreamed about doing besides this? Yes, there is one thing. <laughs> Phil, I'm so glad to hear that. The fans have been so wonderful. I, I want to give back to the community. I, I want to take the Wahoo into the inner city. You know, uh, children's hospitals, homeless shelters, things like that. Yeah, uh, no, uh, Phil, you, you have to get permission from the team to do that. Great, thanks, Mr. Davis. No, well, I gotta say that. It's a nice little town, good people. Well, I don't care about nice, and I don't care about little. The Smiley Time's taking this team global. And we already have tie-in contracts with fast food, beer, shoes, and of course, Smiley Time Studios. Yeah, but we got a lot of wonderful people working with the Flyer organization here, you know. Uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess I'll miss them most. Yes, and they'll all get a chance to interview for their jobs as per the deal. Yeah, well, I uh, suppose that's it then. Uh, congratulations on your new team. Thank you. We recognize good family entertainment when we see it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had a chance uh, to see our team mascot out there, a guy by the name of Phil Linty? Talented man. He cracks me up all the time. It used to be a TV star. He used to be. Now, that doesn't count for much, does it? Oh, he's an amazing guy, though. I, I give a look, see? What do you think? I think he puts the no in Fresno. <laughs> So it's true. You sold the flyers. Yes, uh, Phil. Uh, Smiley Time and Mr. Block here, they own the team now. Well, congratulations, Mr. Davis. And you too, gentlemen. Uh, you made a very smart move buying this team. We won't let you down. I've got some moves L.A. is going to love. Uh, uh, Phil, Phil uh, come on. Wow, I can't believe this. The same company that snuffed out my career 14 years ago, now responsible for my triumphant return. It's so ironic. 
three more. Uh, it uh, might be better to leave these people uh, do their celebrating. You know? what? But what do you mean? They've got a certain sense of ownership. <laughs> I uh, wanted to tell you this in private, but the, the thing is, Phil, uh, only the team is moving to L.A. You've done a great job being the wall, but Smiley Time is looking to change the image. The, so they uh, want you to be moving on. Uh, tonight was your last night, Phil. You're firing me? After 14 years? Try not to think of it as firing. Uh, they just want to take the team in a different direction, Phil. They're already looking into a guy who studied under the chicken in San Diego. Oh. No, 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 you, but the fans love me. Fresno loves you. The team's moving to L.A. You've been replaced. somebody here to take care of it. Uh, just leave the suit down in the locker room. Leave the Wahoo costume? Are you crazy? Hey, uh, Phil, the suit's got to stay. Fun. Join host Brooke Burke and go wild on the jungle tomorrow at 11, only on E. They only come out at night. They have unusual cravings. I have a blood fetish. And they love to party. Step into the shadows of the gothic nightlife. Hollywood Nights, Coven 13, and E! Original Special this Sunday at 10, only on E. They know everything about seasonal allergies. Every symptom and every side effect from every over-the-counter remedy they've ever tried. They know everything except this. There's a pill that could make a difference. Pick a doctor, pick a day, and ask about non-drowsy Claritin, the once daily pill for seasonal allergy relief, and discover what millions of allergy sufferers already know. Occurrence of side effects like headache, drowsiness, fatigue, and dry mouth is as low as with a sugar pill. Claritin, know the difference. I brought you some flowers. They look and feel plastic, but they smell real. Yeah. He thinks he knows what women want. It looks like somebody stole two fine hams and shoved them down the back of your dress. He thinks he knows what women need. Pina Colada butt lotion? But he doesn't have a clue. Ladies, if you are rich, meet me at the nacho car. The ladies' man. Hey, Griffin, it's, it's Leon. <laughs> Wicked Dog, now playing in theaters everywhere. Nothing is stronger than Secret Platinum Protection. It's the strongest form of antiperspirant you can get without a prescription. Strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a woman. Hi, I'm Wayne Knight. My favorite show on E is Talk Soup. I love those spoons. <laughs> Talk Soup, weeknights at 8. Hi, uh, my name is Rob Morrow, and I watch anything with Jules Asner. This Saturday at every Macy's, it's Super Saturday. One super day of savings store-wide. Already reduced fashion for her, an extra 30 to 40% off. Women's coats and jackets, 25 to 50% off. Skechers sneakers, your choice, $44.99. Men's suits, sport coats, overcoats, rainwear, 40 to 50% off. Down comforter or six-piece down comforter set, your choice, $99.99. Macy's Super Saturday. Don't miss it.
If you thought being a student was hard... He failed because you didn't like his answers. Try being a teacher. She gave my boy an F. Because he thought Lincoln was a log, Washington was a redskin, and Hamilton was a... What was Hamilton? A blender. The Emmy-winning creator of Ally McBeal and the Practice takes you back to school. Miss Suter, you finished number one in the poll. What poll? Which teacher the male students want to sleep with most? Oh, how nice. You were seven. What, seven? Boston Public premieres Monday, October 23rd at 8, 7 central on Fox. My beanie baby cup in the dishwasher, didn't you? Oh, it was a mistake. I I'm sorry. Well, I asked you not to. Look, it it it's faded. It's not worth anything anymore. Why can't I have anything nice? I'm something nice. I'm your son. You're no San Diego chicken. You look ridiculous. Can we just eat in peace? What mother is asked to eat? Dinner with a giant raccoon. I can't even look at you. You'll get used to it. I've never taken this off. <sighs> Why do I have to be the mother who says to her son, you're no San Diego chicken? What did I ever do to deserve this? Well, what do you want me to do? Think about me for a change. Get yourself a real job and support your mother. Huh. For God's sake, you're 35. Did you really expect to spend the rest of your life as a giant blue raccoon? I am not a raccoon mother. I am the flying wahoo. It's really my body now. 
and nobody can take this away from me ever. Not Smiley Time, not anybody. Uh -huh. some sort of uh, state-of-the-art costume there or something? It's not a costume, Joe. It's me. Gina, look at me. The old Phil is gone. I'm a new person now. What is that, some kind of trick? Oh, honey, stay back. Honey? I thought you said you didn't date customers. Oh, well, no, but... I guess I do date customers, Phil. Just not you. But I'm not Phil anymore. Now you can give the new me a chance. You said I was cute. Get away from her, you freak. What? Hey! What's the matter with you people? Phil, take that thing off. Okay, Phil. You're spooking the customers. You take that thing off or it's lights out. I can't. Here, feel it. Gina. <laughs> it has to be a costume. You're all I ever wanted. Come on, Phil. Take it off. Ow! Oh, my God. What is that? He's bleeding. Get away from him. Gina. Frank. Leave her alone. Oh. What's he trying to do? It's not a he, it's an it. Gina. It's gonna kill us. Ah! Don't touch him. Keep ah. him down. Gina. Stay back. Ah. Please. Ah. Just get in here. Watch him. Look out. Get out of here. He's after me. are no dummies. We're kind of like the UN, only in thong underwear. But when their inner beauty is revealed... Your mannequins. In the flesh. Who will be the fashion victims? Why are you blaming me? Blame society. None of this is my fault. Get me a publicist. Coming up next on Hollywood Off-Ramp, E's new anthology series, a dark detour on the road to fame. Don't be scared, since only Hollywood. Coming up next, only on E. How much is enough? How about 30? 30 succulent shrimp for $10.99 now with Red Lobster. 1-800-COLLECT presents the coolest way to save on collect calls. Stop! 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 Who are you calling collect? Dial 1-800-COLLECT. 1-800-COLLECT. Easy, huh? Easy. Hey! Saves the people you call at least a buck or two. A buck or two. Got it? 
That's great. 1-800-COLLECT, as in collect calls. 1-800-COLLECT, the hip way to save a buck or two. Oh, we're having chicken. Oh. We're having chicken. Try McCormick flavor medleys and tantalize the taste of any meal. Oh, wow. This new mobile internet, they say it's going to change my life. Well, but I like my life. Dave, it's going to change some things you don't like. No wires, no waiting. The internet services you want, wherever you are. So you won't change the good things. You'll still have those. Anchovies on pizza. Still be there. Ice hockey. Absolutely. Feel a leather on naked skin. If that's important to you, Dave. call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Car insurance bills getting too hot to handle? GEICO. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, Michael, can you make some chicken noodles? Sure. You always knew Campbell's was good. Today? You just didn't know how good. Introducing Campbell's ready-to-serve soups. Now, seven of your favorites, like classic chicken noodle and classic tomato, come ready to eat. Need some water? Nah. Just microwave and eat. It's that easy. Wanna try some tomato? Campbell's. Mmm, mmm, good. For the latest on your favorite celebrities, check out Entertainment's homepage at www.eonline.com or go to America Online, keyword E. Not all professional mascots get run over by trucks, which is unfortunate. No, many mascots go on to more glamorous, high-paying jobs like driving the Jungle Cruise or finding a supporting role in Les Mis on ice. Though many mascots do admit to the one big downside, it really sucks when you throw up inside the suit. Wherever you are flying, Wahoo, I'm sure you're soaring. for another episode of Hollywood off Ramp, a dark detour on the road to fame. Coming up next, only on E! you want for whatever. 